Hello friends, in this session I am gonna show you how to create SQL Server integration project using Visual Studio 2019 and also I will cover the basic things that we have to set up before we actually go to create a project. So first to open Visual Studio 2019 we have to enter DEV ENV in the Windows search bar so it will show the Visual Studio and version if it is already installed in your PC then click on the Visual Studio to open so when it shows the options just select create a new project and search for the integration project template here so it shows three templates the first one is integration services project and second one integration services project Azure enabled and the third one is integration services import project wizard. The first one we use this is the common template that we use to build high performance data integration or any workflow solutions based on SSIS catalog or SSIS project. So the second one if you are creating a project for Azure platform then this is the best template for you. And the third one is integration services import uh, project wizard. So here a wizard will assist you to create a new integration project. So this is ideal for uh, basic import export kind of our uh, data loading projects. So let's select integration services project the first one and click next. So now choose your project name so because it is my first project so I'm entering it as my first project as my project name so by default the location will be repos so when we install Visual Studio 2019 and SSIS project templates it actually creates this folder under your C drive users and username source folder directory so solution name by default it considers project name if you want a different solution name now you can enter uh, rename it to a different solution name that you have if you want to place the solution and project in the same directory then select this checkbox so I don't want that in a different directory and I don't want a different solution name so I am just clicking on create to create this project so while it creates a new project so let's go to the location and see what it actually creates for us in the project so I've I'm in the location so it has created a folder my first project and where it uh, it placed all the solution files that's required for the SSIS project so SLN is the solution file it creates and another folder for the project templates so this is the package.ttsx is the actual package and extension for all SSIS related project packages okay so these are all the necessary project templates that SSIS required to create a project so let's go back to the project SSIS designer and so let's see what it's created so let's go to solution explorer if you can't see by any reason if you can't see your solution explorer in this visual designer then you just need to go to view and then just select solution explorer or whichever uh, explorer you want to see here so it shows that explorer for you and so it has created a solution with name my first project and a project with name my first project and it is showing SQL Server 2017 version though we have created this in 2019 version it has it was showing SQL Server 2017 I will show you why it is showing 2017 in a, mo in a moment so it has created project dot parameters connection managers SSIS packages directory and where 
it place all the packages that we're going to create and package it, parts control flow miscellaneous and linked azure resources and all so so let's see why is it why it is showing sql server 2017 now so now let's right click on the project and go to properties and go to configuration properties so here you will see a target server version so sql server 2019 sql server integration project 2019 supports different target server versions so when you click on the drop down here in the target server version drop down you will see all the previous and the future and the current versions in the drop down so the version that we installed is sql server 2019 and sql server to the integration services 2019 right so that's why the sql server 2019 version is also getting displayed in the drop down so select whichever version you want so we have to select this database version based on the target database version so if you want to deploy the ssis project into a database version 2017 ssis catalog then you have to choose 2017 or if you want to deploy the project into 2016 database version then you have to select 2016 sql server here so i would like to create this project for sql server 2019 because my target version is 2019 so i am selecting sql server 2019 and remember though we select 2017 or 16 and uh, it doesn't matter it uh, the higher version of sql server supports the backward compatibility but the backward version the older version doesn't support the newer sql server version so i'm selecting sql server 2019 and apply and then click yes and ok so now you see the only project name because that's set for the current version so that so you understand this one right so this is the package that it has created and in the left side you see server explorer so here you will see issue data connections and local servers and you see toolbox and you will also see ssis toolbox so it is not showing any options because we haven't actually selected or opened any package right okay let's open package.ttsx now and let's see what it shows so it's showing control flow data flow parameters event handlers and package explorer and connection manager sections right so control flow designer is useful to define the workflow of tasks and data flow is useful to define the data movement between source and destinations so here we will map the source and destination and we will move the data from one location to another location parameters are to define dynamic variables expressions and arguments purpose and even handlers is for so if anything happens like on error on status changed on information change or anything happen then if we want to trigger an event based on these handlers event handlers then it fires an event based on based when it happens to the task execution and package explorer is to navigate to all the folders all the files that we have created in a package connection managers are the connections that we create in a package for data collection data retrieval data movement uh, or file system task anything any connection that we create uh, in a package will be available here and if you see left bar 
it is showing server explorer toolbox and ssis toolbox so server explorer are the database connections that we created in a package project and go to ssis toolbox it shows all control flow tasks so when you are in control flow designer then it will show all control flow tasks data flow task execute sql task are all all these tasks are control flow tasks it performs a task at high level so if you go to data flow then you see all data flow related tasks right so data flow is a sub set of control flow so when we drag data flow task into the control flow designer and when we open the data flow task you will see all data flow related toolbox and we will use this toolbox in data flow designer configuration